confusion that we are seeing uh, in the Jubilee party and I'm asking why do we have now all of a sudden have uh, so many voices saying that uh, the president needs to endorse uh, the deputy president it, it, it appears as if uh, the president has crossed over to the Jubilee I mean, to ODM who is the ultimate beneficiary of all this conversation and who is feeling it in your own understanding as a matter of fact well I think that some of the uh, talk <coughs> and some of the so-called rebellion is clearly sponsored and sponsored by persons with an interest in 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, because you ask yourself, where does it, where, 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 what's the background for some of the uh, mamas and some of the grievances that we are hearing today? Mm -hmm. When Moses Kuria talks about underdevelopment in central Kenya, mm -hmm. we, we wonder, for those of us who come from Nyanza, Look at Central. The Deputy President has made, it is said, he has made almost 40 trips to Central Province mm -hmm. to launch development projects. Mm -hmm. In Nyanza, the Deputy President came only once and he came to, to comfort his friend uh, Okothobado mm -hmm. when Okothobado was released from, uh, from, from remand. How many times has the President come to Nyanza? He came once to launch universal health care and to launch a few road product, uh, projects. Mm -hmm. But he has spent a lot of time in the central region launching water projects, launching roads, launching hospitals, launching markets. And you wonder, how come all of a sudden people are waking up to the realization that central is underdeveloped? And if you look at the new constitution, mm -hmm. budget making is a responsibility of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. The chair of the budget committee in the National Assembly is one of the loiterers called Kimani Chungwa. And if anyone had a problem with issues of resource allocation to Central, you'd start with the National Assembly and you'd ask what the budget committee of the National Assembly has been doing. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, the chair of the budget committee was Mutava Musimi for five years. Mm -hmm. And Mutava Musimi, uh, Kimani Chungwa and I know how difficult uh, Mutava Musimi was, particularly with empowerment of the Senate and empowerment of counties. We would propose that more funds go to counties and he would argue that we must tell him where that money is going to come from. And he would insist that the national government gets uh, more money. Mm -hmm. and, and so this, these are things that seem to be coming out of the blue. But because this is politics, I can only say that this has been sponsored by persons who are very uncomfortable with the kind of tranquility and with the kind of peace that uh, this country is witnessing since Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta decided to set aside their very deep differences mm -hmm. and work together. But you're not certain who that is? Well, there could be many people who are uncomfortable with that arrangement mm -hmm. and uh, there could be a few people who are interested in 2022 who believe that uh, there is a debt that uh, is owed to them. I think those could be the persons who are fueling and sponsoring uh, some of the mamas. Mm -hmm. Because uh, really, uh, w when I hear uh, people talking about uh, President Uhuru having joined uh, ODM, mm -hmm. or other people questioning what is this handshake about, right. unless you are a visitor in Jerusalem, mm. you would know that one year ago this country was in a situation that was almost ungovernable. The economy was facing south. There was no tranquility on the roads. We were facing tear gas every other day. In certain parts of this country, we are talking of secession. You saw in Migori County, which is a very, very important link to Tanzania, mm -hmm. the young boys there went and welded a bridge. No vehicle could pass. It meant that we were going to kill trade with Tanzania. In other parts of Kisumu, vehicles going to Uganda could not cross. And that meant that we are going to kill trade. And remember that Kenya is one of the greatest exporters within the East African region. That is where issues had reached. When you went to the coast, people were talking of secession. And they were talking of Kwani uh, uh, Kenya mm. and such other things. Mm. If there is any benefit that has accrued from that handshake, it is that state of tranquility and a situation where now people have sat down and we've agreed that we are going to proceed in a nation state called Kenya. In fact, if there is going to be no further benefit, mm -hmm. but the benefit that we've achieved so far is greater than anything else that people will talk about in 2022. Right.